Good morning children. In previous video we saw central dogma and packing of DNA. So today we will learn about the transforming principle under the heading of search for genetic material and biochemical characteristics of uh, transforming principle. In 1928, Frederick Griffith in a series of experiments with the Streptococcus pneumoniae, bacterium responsible for pneumonia, witnessed a miraculous transformation in bacteria. During the course of his experiment, a living organism, bacteria, had changed in physical form. When Streptococcus pneumoniae, bacteria are grown on a culture plate, some produce smooth, shiny colonies while others produce rough colonies. This is because the S-strain bacteria have a mucus polysaccharide code while R-strain bacteria doesn't. Mice infected the S-strain virulent dye from pneumonia infection but mice infected with the R-strain do not develop pneumonia. Griffith was able to kill bacteria by heating them. He observed that heat killed S strain bacteria injected into mice did not kill them when the injected a mixture of heat killed S and live R bacteria. The mice died. Moreover, he recovered living S bacteria from dead mice. He concluded that the R strain, that is a rough coating, R strain bacteria had somehow been transformed by the heat killed smooth strain bacteria. Some transforming principle transferred from the heat killed S strain had enabled the R strain to synthesize a smooth polysaccharide coat and become virulent. This must be due to the transfer of genetic material. However, the biochemical nature of genetic material was not defined from his experiments. This slide is all about the biochemical characterization of transforming principle. Prior to the work of Oswald, Colin and Macklin in 1933 till 1944, the genetic material was thought to be a protein. They worked to determine the biochemical nature of transforming principle in Griffith's experiment. They purified biochemicals that is proteins, DNA and RNA from the heat killed S cells to see which one could transform live R cells into S cells. They discovered that DNA alone from S bacteria caused R bacteria to become transformed. They also discovered that protein digesting enzymes that is proteases and DNA digesting enzymes that is DNAs, DNAs and R di RNA digesting enzyme RNAs did not affect transformation. So the transforming substance was not a protein or RNA. Digestion with DNAs did not inhibit transformation, suggesting that DNA caused the transformation. They concluded that DNA is the hereditary material, but not all the biologists were con convinced. 